Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 10 asks us to explain one way in which energy losses in mechanical equipment affect the efficiency of an engineering system. So let's just highlight a couple of important things there. First of all it says explain and what we notice is the question's worth two marks. So what we're looking for is two distinct points. It then mentions mechanical equipment and links that to the overall efficiency of an engineering system. So let's read that one more time. Explain one way in which energy losses in mechanical equipment affect the efficiency of an engineering system. Well, when we think of mechanical equipment, we think of things like gears and belts and pulleys and that type of thing. And one of the things that we get with mechanical equipment is friction. And wherever we get friction, we get heat and we also get noise. So if you think of two surfaces rubbing together, those surfaces become hot but they also generate some noise. So in answering this question, I would point out that fact. Mechanical components, when rubbing together, cause friction. Friction causes heat and sound. So I've written mechanical components move and the surfaces rub against each other. Heat and sound are generated due to friction. Now the important thing to point out next is that this heat and this sound isn't wanted. We're not converting that energy into desirable forms. So what we can say is that this heat and sound energy is wasted energy, which causes the efficiency of the system to be reduced. So putting that into words, I've said, this heat and sound energy is not wanted and is wasted energy, which reduces the amount of useful energy, hence reducing the efficiency. So what we've done here is we've pointed out the causes of the wasted energy and we've talked about how that wasted energy affects the overall system efficiency.